Supporters and opponents of the same-sex marriage bill have flocked to the Capitol every step of the way, and today was no different. KITV4's Andrew Pereira continues our team coverage. Andrew. Paula, both supporters and opponents are pledging reconciliation after a contentious special session. With the state Senate rock solid for same sex marriage, the Capitol took on a party like atmosphere ahead of the 19 to 4 vote. <laughs> Chaz Hill and Frank Lee were celebrating too after coming up on the losing end in 1998. My partner and I have been together for 17 years, and what happens today and what is happening affects the rest of our lives together. I'm so happy to see the young people out here because, you know, us old people are old, and we want to just, like, let them take over now. People like 24-year-old Hoku Akana, who's been changing minds. You just let them know this is how things are, and this is why we're fighting for it. On the opposite side of the Capitol Rotunda, the mood much more subdued. Opponents say the same-sex marriage bill doesn't go far enough in protecting religious liberties. Because of the, the vagueness in the bill, it's, a lot of things will go to court. There was no chanting today, but opponents wanted to be sure their voices are heard. I got to come down and support the people, you know, the people of the state of Hawaii. They didn't vote for this. I think more of the younger generation say, hey, I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote. It's, 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 it's just woke up everybody like, hey, it's time to vote. When the final tally was broadcast by Capital TV, opponents gathered in prayer while the party truly began for same sex marriage supporters. Senate Bill 1, House Draft 1, passes. <laughs> The thing I can see happening is that we become a more tolerant society, more inclusive. For some supporters and opponents, the reconciliation has already begun. As a Christian, that's why I belong, talking to them and just, just loving on them, you know. Opponents are now hinging their hopes on a likely lawsuit regarding the 1998 constitutional vote on same-sex marriage. Representative Bob McDermott says many people believe they were voting to define marriage between one man and one woman. That's the latest, Paula. We'll send it back to you.